Only days now to go for the Karnataka Assembly election. It's going to happen in a single phase on the 10th of May. But the political campaigning has just entered its most aggressive and ill-tempered phase. The slog overs of this big campaign. BJP Chief JP Nadda has kick-started his three-day visit with a roadshow in Sidla Ghatta today. JP Nadda has held a mega roadshow of strength in Sidla Ghatta in Chikballapur district followed by a temple visit in Uttara Kannada district. That's one of the big defining images of the day. Prime Minister Modi is all set to hold over 20 rallies in the lead up to the Karnataka Assembly polling day. It all starts very soon. He will be joined by other star campaigners including Union Home Minister Amit Shah and UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath. The Karnataka campaign for the BJP moving into top gear. They will be highlighting how the Congress has failed to fulfill two major promises in Himachal Pradesh, its most recent electoral victory, and will be countering the four guarantees that the opposition Congress has been making in Karnataka regarding social issues. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is also in Karnataka and has kicked off a high-tempo rally war. The former Vyanad MP interacted with youth and sugarcane farmers in Gadag and Ramadurga district. He also held a Yuva Samvad in Gadag and addressed a public meeting in Hangal. His sister Priyanka Gandhi Vadra will be also campaigning in Polban, Karnataka starting the 25th of April. She's all set to lead the campaign from Mysuru to Chamrajnagar in South Karnataka. Now the old Mysuru region has been something that has perplexed the BJP for a long time because it has simply failed to make any meaningful inroads there. The old Mysuru region is seen as a stronghold of the JDS, the smallest of the three parties in the battlefield that is Karnataka. Well, now, weeks ahead of the Karnataka polling day, political campaigns are in full swing in the state, especially in the old Mysuru region. The Congress and the BJP's bigwigs will be in the state of war holding big political rallies that kicked off today. The BJP's top election machinery manager, Union Home Minister Amit Shah, along with National Party Chief J.P. Nadda, have been holding road shows today. Amit Shah held this huge road show that you're about to look at in Hassan district of Karnataka. That's the heartland of the Gaudas of the JDS, the Gauda family. This is where he launched scathing attacks, not just at the Congress party, but also the JDS, accusing especially the Congress party of being totally corrupt and hypocritical, because remember, the Congress party has made its own election plank against the BJP almost uniformly about corruption. Amit Shah, who arrived in Mysuru earlier, offered special prayers at the Chamundeshwari temple and held a huge road show in Gundlupet and Sakleshpur constituencies. Meanwhile, J.P. Nadda will hold a road show in Sidlagatta in Chikbalapur district, followed by a visit to the Sirsi area in Uttar Kannada district. Take a look. Joining me now is the Union Home Minister of India, Mr. Amit Shah, who is campaigning here in Sakleshpura Assembly constituency. Amit Shah ji, you have come to last bar, in this seat, in 500,000 votes, in this seat, how is the situation in this seat? You can see the situation, the whole road is filled with the whole road. In our Pratyasthi ke Samarjan, and in Pritam Goda, there is also a lot of support. मजबूती के साथ जीतेगा इस बार हासन के अंदर हम चार सीट जीतने जा रहे हैं हमें पक्का भरोसा जेडीएस फैमिली जेडीएस फैमिली आपको बोलते हैं अमेरिकन प्रेसिडेंट भी आ जाए रशियन प्रेसिडेंट भी आ जाए इस जिले का लोग जेडीएस के साथ है ये उनका अहंकार है लोकतंत्र में कभी एक परिवार का शासन नहीं चल सकता जनता ये स्वीकार कर रही है और मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि हासन की और कर्नाटक की जनता पूर्ण बहुमत का भारतीय जनता पार्टी का शासन लाएगी सर ओल्ड मैसूर रीजन में आपका इस बार बहुत ज्यादा कंसंट्रेशन है सर क्या एक स्ट्रैटेजी है कि हैदराबाद कर्नाटक के अलावा ओल्ड मैसूर भी आपका स्ट्रांग होल्ड है निश्चित रूप से इस बार ओल्ड मैसूर रीजन में भारतीय जनता पार्टी को बढ़िया विजय मिलेगा अभी आके मैं एक रोड शो कर कर आया इसके विजुअल देख लीजिए अगर रोड शो में 
पचास हजार से ज्यादा लोग अगर आते हैं तो वो सीट निश्चित रूप से हम जीतते हैं सर ऑल्सो कांग्रेस की जो नेता जो है वो वो, च, वो चैलेंज कर रहे हैं कि अगर बीजेपी के बीजेपी की ताकत हो तो एक लिंगायत अगला मुख्यमंत्री बनेगा इसे डिक्लेयर करने के लिए बीजेपी का सवाल है बीजेपी का तो मुख्यमंत्री लिंगायत है ही कांग्रेस जरा घोषणा करे उनको घोषणा करनी है उन्होंने हमेशा लिंगायतों का अपमान किया है चाहे बीरप्पा मोइली हो चाहे निकलिन जप्पा हो सर आखिरी दो सवाल सर आने वाले दस दिन में आपकी क्या स्ट्रैटेजी होगी एक ये सुनने हमें आ रहा है कि आप इधर ही रहेंगे हर दिन रोड शो करेंगे देखिए मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में कर्नाटक की जनता डबल इंजिन सरकार चाहती है और कर्नाटक का सर्वांगीण विकास ये परिवारवादी और जातिवादी पार्टियां नहीं कर सकती है केवल और केवल भारतीय जनता पार्टी कर सकती है मोदी जी की सरकार ने पीएफआई पर बैन लगाकर कर्नाटक में सुरक्षा का स्पष्ट संदेश दिया है कर्नाटक की जनता इस बार भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ है और पूर्ण बहुमत की सरकार बनने जा रही है